Hello children, welcome to the mathematics class. So students, today we are going to start a very interesting topic that is geometry. Your chapter number 6 is geometry. So I know you all are very excited because students generally like this topic as it includes lots of shapes, objects and drawing part. So let's begin this chapter. So students, today we will learn a very basic things about geometry. Okay, so let me show you one picture first. Okay, now tell me what is this? Yes, this is, these are some dices. Okay, and uh, what you can see on this dice? Yes, you can call it dots. Okay, few dots are given to you. I know you must have played Ludo. Ludo may you dice khelte hai. Okay. So we call it a dot. Okay. These white white points we call it a dot. Okay. Now let me show you one more picture. What is this? Yes. You can call it a dot. Or you can call it a point. Okay. So this is a point. In mathematical term, we call it a point. Isko hum point bolte hai maths ki term mein. Okay. And we can give them a name also, like A, B, any name. Okay? So, students, this is a point and we can give any name as I have written B here. Okay? And it can also be written as point B. And point is the smallest part of a line. Now, I'm going to teach you about lines. I'm going to tell you about line. So, in line, point is the smallest Part. Okay, now let me tell you, uh, let me show you a few examples like point B, A, C, D. Okay, now let's talk about lines first. So in the very beginning students, at the childhood time, when you started writing, your teacher taught you about the lines. जब आपने लिखना स्टार्ट किया था आपकी टीचर ने सबसे पहले आपको लाइंस ड्रॉ करना सिखाया था लाइक स्लीपिंग लाइंस स्टैंडिंग लाइन सो देयर आर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ लाइंस दैट वी गोना लर्न टुडे ओके सो दीज आर फ्यू नेम्स ऑफ द लाइंस लाइक हॉरिजॉन्टल लाइंस वर्टिकल लाइंस स्लैंटिंग लाइंस कर्व्ड लाइंस नाउ आई एम गोना शो यू वन बाय वन ईच ऑफ देम ओके now look at the first one. This is horizontal line or you call it slipping line also. Okay. Slipping line or horizontal line. Next, this is vertical line or you can call it standing line. Next, slanting line. Okay. Slanting line can be of two type from right to left or left to right. Now the next one is curved line. Curved line. Waves me like this. This is curved line. Okay. Here are a few more examples of lines like straight, curved, wavy. Okay. Wavy lines. Zigzag, dotted, vertical, horizontal, diagonal, or you can call it slanting line also and parallel line. Parallel means similar lines jo ek saathi dono similar as you can see in the picture also. So here are few more examples of lines that you must know for your knowledge. Okay. Now students let me explain you more about line. Okay. So here as you can see there is a line. Okay. And we have given it a name. And or, or you can say we have labeled it as A and B. Okay. So students, a line has arrows on both sides. As you can see, this line has arrow on the both hand side, left hand side and right hand side. Okay. And it can also be written as AB. Then like this, then you will draw line on it. On the upper part of it. A, B. Then like this you have to write. Okay students. The arrow shows that a line extends in both directions with no 
एंड पॉइंट दिस एरो शोज ये जो आपके एरोज है ये शो करते हैं देर इज नो एंड ऑफ दिस लाइन इट कैन एक्सटेंड एज मच एज इट वॉन्ट कितना भी ये आगे इंक्रीज हो सकती है लाइन ओके दिस एरो शोज देर इज नो एंडिंग पॉइंट ऑफ दिस लाइन नेक्स्ट नाउ स्टूडेंट्स इफ वी डू वन थिंग इफ वी ड्रॉ टू पॉइंट ऑन इट इफ वी राइट लाइक दिस टू डॉट्स ऑन इट and we give them a name p and q so the part of line between point a and b is called line segment so this line part of line between a and b a or b ke beech mein jo ye line hai hamari p or q this p and q p and q can be written as like this p q and you will draw one line like this but here you will not draw the arrows okay because this is line segment and a line segment is a part of a line this is a line and uh, p and q is line segment and it is a part of a line clear next yes this is the example of line segment in line segment we put dot uh, on the both hand side okay so this is line segment okay or you can write line segment as, as we have given x and y name so you can write x y then you will draw line segment on the upper of upper part of it okay so you can write like this okay so there are few more examples of line segment a b x y c d clear now students there are uh, two types of it like line segment and ray in line segment uh, there is dot on both hand side and in rays there is dot on one hand side and one hand side there is an arrow so ray is a part of line with a start point but no end point means it has a start point but there is no end point because we have drawn arrow here so there is a no ending point of a ray now next we have line and half line about line i already told you half line means a straight line which is indefinite and it goes in one direction only it go indefinitely it goes on one direction that is called half line and in half line we put arrow in one direction only like this okay now uh, you have to find out students now tell me what is this a line line segment ray or half line as you can see there is arrow in both the direction so we can call it a line and if i ask you to name this line name them so you have to write like this c d and then this line on it okay now see the next one yes what is this arrow in only one direction what we call it we call it a half line as i told you half line goes only uh, indefinitely in one direction only okay next dot on one side and arrow on another side this is called a ray as you know a part of line with a start point but no end point is called ray next yes both side we have dot or you can say point and we named it as r and s so this is a line segment okay or you can write it as r s then you will draw line segment on it or a straight line on it clear students i hope this concept is clear to you keep doing practice at your home and solve few exercises related to this in your book and notebook then it would be more clear to you thank you